pat it, you can melt it to blood and pus. <laughs> Darling, come on! It's perfectly cool in here. Join me inside. I'm doing the art practice, will you? <sighs> Such humor, Admiral. Let go of your stubbornness, and I could request Master to set you free. Then I'd be open to joining you. Oh, I don't deserve you. That old bastard has really made good use of Wukong's relic. Even you, a celestial courtier, bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money wheel. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. These gold symbols are made by our Grand Master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? No, he's here below. Turtle? Snake? Who cares? I caught a whiff of monkey skin familiar enough for me to sound my welcome. Master valued your talents. He kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good. How ungrateful. Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new West. Died in combat. Changed your mind. Spin. And These are set in their ways. Still, though, you'll never crack the gold symbol. Ah!
What took you so long? Constipation? I was nearly cooked alive in there. Move it. Blasted I saw. Wasn't even worth my second glance back in the court. Ah, that same look again. A furry coat and a pinched face. Luck's all you've got. Great, another mute. Whatever. Let's not dally. Now the turtle and I have shared a few tales. That yellow brow is not like the foes. That old monkey from Mount Guaguo asked me to back you up here to save you from his ugly tricks. He told me that once we gathered all six relics, we could bring Wukong back. Let's say I buy it for now. I'll go and catch up with him first. You take a crowd. 